world leaders are arriving in Havana ahead of tonight's rally to honor Fidel Castro. Spain's former king, the presidents of Mexico, South Africa, Nicaragua, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela all plan to attend Castro's funeral on Sunday. Notably absent, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, as well as President Obama and Vice President Biden. The White House is still deciding whether to send an official delegation. Charlie Rose is at Revolution Square in Havana, where Cubans are lining up to pay their respects. Charlie, good morning to, to you. Farewell. Good morning from Havana. During the nearly 50-year reign of Fidel Castro, massive crowds came to this plaza to hear his thunderous speeches. Yesterday, hundreds of thousands came to bid farewell. Today, even bigger crowds are expected. In fact, behind me, they're already beginning to line up. Hundreds of mourners remain well after the sun set on Revolution Square. Fidel's brother and Cuban President Raul Castro placed a flower by his picture. Several other Cuban officials also paid tribute to the man who led the country for nearly 50 years. The lines of mourners Monday grew longer as the day wore on. Many were overcome either by the heat or by grief. He is living, living eternally now, right. this man said. Mourners stood hours in the sun for the chance to file past a photo of the man known as El Comandante and view his medals. The moment may have lasted only seconds, but the anguish was evident. I tell you this from my heart, this farmer said. I'd like it to have been me instead of him. Castro's ashes were kept out of public view. Even in death, he is surrounded by secrecy. Alcohol cells and celebratory music are banned during this period of mourning. Schools and government offices have been shuttered. Many mourners who also signed an oath of loyalty to Castro's revolution are state employees or students. Socialismo. Around the world, Castro is seen by some as a murderous and repressive dictator. But to these Cubans, he is a father figure and a national hero. Tomorrow's rally, tonight's rally in fact, will be a kind of massive send-off for Del Castro. He will remain, his remains will travel all the way to Santiago. Along the way, he will stop and people will have an opportunity to bid him farewell. He will be then at the birthplace of the Cuban Revolution. Gail? Charlie Rose in Havana, thank you very much. Safe travels as you head back to us here in New York.